Hello, everyone. Welcome to the micro lecture. I'm Alan from Easy Chinese Visa. Today, we're going to introduce the whole process of Chinese working visa to you. When you apply for it at the first time, you may find it complicated or confused about the process. But you will realize actually it's just regular as to the first time you apply for a tourist visa to travel overseas. It's easy and logical after knowing more about it. You know, concerns come from the unknown. It's totally four major steps document preparation, application of working permit notice, application of working visa, as well as application of working permit and residence permit. Every step can only be done after finishing the formal one. Let's take a look at these steps one by one. Step one, document preparation. This is the list of documents required. We have already worked on visa cases for more than 50 countries. So you can send your documents to us and we can guide you and tell you if you prepared right. Even this is done by yourself. We will guide you about how to prepare our documents in the quickest and most proper way so as to save time and money. You can prepare documents before or after having documents ready. But surely, employer will prefer those who having documents ready due to the time-consuming process. Normally, this application takes about one month. I will explain more details tomorrow about these documents and uh, requirement. Step 2. Application of Working Permit Notice. Once you have all documents ready, we will start step 2. There is an online system called Service System for foreigners working in China. Most of the online procedures are done on this system, except for on-site checking. So you can only have work visa after having an offer because WPN is issued under the name of your employer. By the way, some cities have strict policy, so they require documents to be posted before you enter into China and they issue the WPN. But most of the cities only ask for on-site checking after you enter into China, and school can just take a copy of your documents for on-site checking. This step costs about three weeks more or less. Step three, application of working visa. After having the WPN, it means you have passed the Chinese government approval. You can apply for Chinese work visa on Chinese embassy or consular in foreign country or places like uh, Chinese Hong Kong, Macau. Normally you should apply for visa on your own country, but you can tell us to choose the specific Chinese embassy at the beginning if you want to apply in foreign country. So Chinese government can pass the approval record to the embassy after WPN that you provide. This visa application costs about four weekdays in regular. The urgent will be three weekdays and extra urgent will be two weekdays. The final step will be the application of work permits and residence permit. You can discuss the arrival time and entry into China after having a visa. And it's better to book flight to arrive on weekday on daytime so employer can pick up you easily. After arrive, the process will be medical check, work permit working permit, and residence permit done by us. 
each step cost about one week. After having this residence permit, your visa process will be done. Congratulations. Um, so, to simplify, you may realize what you have to do is only two steps. Document preparation and visa application. But now, do you know how long this process will take? The answer is two and a half months. And this schedule doesn't include the national holiday delay because too much documents waiting for process by government. You don't know the procedures clearly and get wrong documents or unexpected situations like uh, coronavirus or accidents. Surely, earlier to start is better to just in case. By the way, I guess many of you are concerned about the cost of the whole process. This list is about the cost you may have. The first one will be document preparation. You have to pay the notary public, uh, the notary public and Chinese embassy for your notarization and authentication of degree and agreement record individually. Um, the second one is visa application. You have to pay the Chinese embassy for your work visa. But um, the flight ticket, medical in China, and residence permit, you can discuss with your employer in advance about these costs. I know some of employer will pay for the money inside of China. Okay, these are the overview of the working visa process. I will specify the documents and requirements of working permit notice tomorrow. I'm Ellen from the Easy Chinese Visa. Thank you for listening. See you.